Lesson 2.4, use bar graphs. Use the after dinner activities bar graph for numbers one through six. The third grade students at Case Elementary School were asked what they spent the most time doing last week after dinner. The results are shown in a bar graph at the right. So the bar graph at the right shows the after dinner activities. The number of students are on this side, the left side, and the activity is on the bottom. So we see that we're counting by twos, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And the bottom is where the activities are. And it was read, do homework, watch TV, and play a game. So let's see how many students read after dinner. The bar stops at six. So six students read after dinner. How many students did their homework? The bar ends at 12. Now the students that watch TV. Now we see that the students watch TV is between two and four. So the number that's between two and four would be three. So three students watch TV after dinner last week and play a game. The bar ends at eight. So eight students played a game after dinner last week. So now let's look at number one. How many students spent the most time watching TV after dinner? So we go to the activity and we find watch TV. It was three students. Number two, how many students in all answered the survey? So we know that in all is telling us that we are going to add. So let's add up all of the numbers. We're going to add six plus 12 plus three plus eight. So six plus 12 plus three plus eight. So we have six plus two. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. We carry our 1 over to the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2. So how many students were in all answered the survey? 29 students. So we count everyone that answered. Number three, how many students in all played a game or read? So we know in all again means to add. So we're going to add the students that played a game or read. So played a game, how many students played a game? Eight students played a game. And how many students read? Six students read. So if we add eight, plus six, we get 14 students. Number four, how many fewer students read than did homework? So how many fewer? You know, that means to subtract. How many students read, then did homework? So the students that read, it was six students that read. And how many students did their homework? It was 12 students that did their homework. So we know we're going to be subtracting because how many fewer tells us to subtract. So we begin subtracting 12 minus 6, and that will equal six. So six is our answer. Six fewer. Number five. Suppose three students change their answers to reading instead of doing homework. 
where would the bar for reading end? So if the students change their answers to reading instead of doing homework, where would the bar for reading end? So So now three more students were reading. So we have to increase the bar to show that three more students read. So we have six plus three, since there are three more students. So the new bar length will be nine. So now we have to shade it till we get to nine. So we look for number nine, but we don't see number nine, but we do see eight and 10, and we know that number nine is right in the middle of eight and 10. So we can shade it up. And that will be, number nine will be right here. So how many students, so now we know that it is nine. So, Number five, suppose three students change their answers to reading instead of doing homework. Now the bar would end at nine. And that would be between eight and 10. Right in the middle of eight and 10. Number six. Use after dinner activities bar graph to describe what the bar for do homework means. So let's go to the bar for do homework. The bar for do homework means 12 students did their homework after dinner. So 12 students did their homework after dinner last week. Number one, the bar graph shows the number of sandwiches sold at Lisa's sandwich cart yesterday. How many tuna sandwiches were sold? So we unline our question because it tells us what to do. So how many tuna sandwiches were sold? So we look at tuna, we circle tuna. Let's find out where tuna is at. So we see the number of sandwiches and they're counting by 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So they are counting by fours. And we see the types of sandwiches, ham, turkey, tuna, and peanut butter. So now we have to find out how many tuna sandwiches were sold. So we found tuna is right over here. The bar ends right between 16 and 20. So now we have to find out what number is between 16 and 20. Between 16 and 20, we have 17, 18, 19. So the one that is right in the middle is 18. So 18 tuna sandwiches. were sold. Number two, what is 582 rounded to the nearest 10? So 582, and we have to round it to the nearest 10. So the two tens that 582 is between is 580 
and 590. But 582 is closer to 580 when we round to the nearest 10. Number three. Savannah read 178 minutes last week. What is 178 rounded to the nearest 100? So we have to round 178 to the nearest 100. So 178 is between 100 and 200 when rounded to nearest 100. But it is a lot closer to 200. Number four, estimate the difference. So we know estimate means close to, close to the answer. So we're not looking for the exact answer. And difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So 371, if we estimate and we round it, we can round it either to the nearest tens or to the nearest hundreds. Let's round it to the nearest tens. If we round 371 to the nearest tens, it would be between 370 and 380, but it would be a lot closer to 370. Now 99. 99 is between 90 and 100, but it is a lot closer to 100. So 99 rounded to the nearest tens is 100. Now to estimate the difference, we would keep subtracting, starting with the ones place. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 7 minus 0 equals 7. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So estimate the difference about 270. They didn't ask us to solve it. They just asked for the estimate. Number five, estimate the difference. And again, we know that estimate means close to. And the word difference means to subtract. So I put a subtraction sign. Now, 625 minus 248. If we're going to round, we can round 625 to either tens or the hundreds. Let's round 625 and 248 to the nearest hundred. 625, when rounding to the nearest hundred, would be between 600 and 700, but it is a lot closer to 600. 248, when rounding to the nearest hundred, is between 200 and 300, but it is a lot closer to it is closer to 200. So 600 minus 200, 0 minus 0 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 6 minus 2 equals 4. So our estimate is about 400.